I remember the beginning was really difficult. Nathan was born with a tumor coming out of his back, and he spent two and a half months in the hospital leaking CSF fluid, which has turned out to be a recurring problem in his life. He was born with, a, with uh, what we call myelomeningocele, so in the spine, in the lower back, the area where normally the skin would come together, the spine would close, the vertebrae would, would close, he actually had an opening. and the um, spine actually was outside of the skin and this covering of the spine was actually outside and open at the time of delivery. With that, it's always uh, associated uh, some neurologic abnormalities because the nerves that come out of that spine that go down to the legs, for instance, that go to the urinary bladder, that go to the bowel, those are affected because the spine is disrupted. Frequently, there's also an association with a brain abnormality, and that's exactly what Nathan has as well, where the lower portion of the back of the brain actually sits down too low and actually goes toward the cervical spine. So it's almost like your, your brain is downwardly displaced. And with that, several things can occur in terms of all the nerves that come out of that area and the way they affect the way you swallow, for instance, the way that you can move your mouth and your tongue. Uh, the way it affects your feeding tube, your esophagus, all of those things because again the nerves are affected by that. Nathan's had 45 operations. If it can go wrong, it will go. If there's a complication from surgery that you can have, he will get it. Um, but he will also show you how to overcome it. So he's had unbelievable amounts of time in the hospital with very painful conditions. Uh, he's had things that have ranged from severe infections of the skin, infections of the bone that required uh, prolonged antibiotic treatments, um, very painful headaches and uh, malformations of his shunt and his head, um, painful surgeries involving his abdomen. He is uh, unbelievable the adversity that he's had to overcome. Honestly, one of the first major surgeries I remember, I was in kindergarten and it had to do with uh, bowel and bladder and it was honestly one of the worst operations I had ever gone through. I, I remember sitting there um, in the hospital with doctors coming in pulling tubes out of my stomach and it just it wasn't a good feeling for me. It, it wasn't comforting. but. Um, since then, I've um, grown to just endure the pain because I know it's for a greater cause. I know that once this is all over, I will be way better off. I think it, it's been quite an achievement. Uh, the vast majority of people with his physical condition uh, are primarily, in fact, at this stage, almost exclusively wheelchair ambulators. Uh, and Nathan, it was very important. That, it was and is very important for Nathan to be to be able to be upright, and, and he's gone through some some major operative procedures with with a reasonable chance that they might not be successful because the, this goal was very important to him, and uh, and and he's and he's put up with an awful lot, and and his and is really committed to also doing this, and he works very very hard before his his last surgery to to shift some of his abdominal muscles around. To, so that it could help to stabilize his hips. He, he was doing hundreds of sit-ups a day just to get his abdominal muscles as strong as possible. And it's just, he's, he is as, as committed to himself as, as, as those that are around him are committed to. I told him that these legs really don't help at all during walking. They, they just cause me a lot of pain. And I told him, at first, I would like to have my legs amputated. He approached me then, he said, if you are willing to do these surgeries, I can get you up and walking. I can help you to do that. And I told him, yeah, you're on. I am willing to do that for you. And if it wasn't for Nathan's enthusiasm and, and commitment, then, then I certainly would not have uh, gone down the course that, that we went down. I just said, you know, the, the, the risks are too high and, and the likelihood of success is, is questionable enough that, that I didn't feel that I could certainly push the procedure. So, uh, you know, Nathan's, Nathan's personality and, and the support that he has from his family has been absolutely instrumental in, in uh, Nathan to get to where he's gotten. I know that his mom and dad uh, have fought for him all these years, uh, have been his advocate, 
um, but really it comes from the heart for him. I mean, it's not something that you can teach somebody. It's something that you're either born with innately or not, and he just has this huge heart, this huge goodness to him that doesn't allow him to be down. It doesn't allow him to be depressed about his disabilities. And he just goes on and says, this is what I've dealt with. This is what I'm going to go ahead and move forward with. There's no sense in me being depressed about it. And what's amazing is this attitude is infectious. So the doctors that take care of him, the nurses that take care of him, the people that visit him in the hospital when he's in the hospital are amazed. And now to this day with everything that he's doing with his singing career, uh, the, the, he continues to come up to hurdles and say to people, I'm not disabled, I can, I can pass that hurdle. Uh, and so uh, he's always been that way. Uh, it's just a phenomenal gift that I think he, that, that uh, he, was, he was born with. It's allowed him to overcome these things. I figure, I, why should I go through life always being down? There's no use in doing it. It's not going to get me anywhere. It's not going to make me feel any better. And a positive attitude for me just makes me feel better and um, it makes me look better instead of being down. Oh darn it, I just had this surgery. Why should I do that? I, I've seen that fighting spirit that he's had from the beginning. And I attribute a lot of that to the way his mother has chose, chosen to parent him. Um, she hasn't let him feel sorry for himself or have the idea that life is all about just being comfortable and getting through. And he could very easily just give up and say, somebody take care of me, somebody make me feel better. And he knows there's a lot more to life than that. So he's, he's challenged himself. Um, he's been challenged by his family too and encouraged by his family. Well, I, I said this a long time ago when he was little. Um, if Nathan can do it, I can do it. And I'm certainly not going to fail him. And if he can be strong, well, then I have to be stronger. Uh, without my mom, uh, I, I probably would not be here today. Uh, she's been there for every single surgery, every single hospital visit, doctor's appointment. She's not left my side. And I don't know where I would be without her. But she also inspires the doctors and challenges the doctors to, to come up with um, things that they normally wouldn't come up with, to go the extra mile because of Nathan and because of her insistence as his mother that he gets the absolute best care. And I think um, it's, it, it allows us to, to realize why we are blessed to take care of patients like Nathan and his family. Um, because it really makes a difference when everybody is shooting on their A-game. And, and Nathan, I think, uh, inspires us to be on our A-game as well. One of my goals that I've had for a long time was walking, and I've accomplished that. Um, my biggest goal right now is to become a singer, a nationwide known one. And I am trying to achieve that with the help of my mom and um, Steven for guitar. Nathan has both of those elements, that, that unusual characteristic with a lot of talent and an unbelievable amount of drive. That's what, that's what sets him apart, is that he, he's a worker with talent. I think Nathan will be the next American Idol, or we're hoping for that. I'm looking forward to seeing him on the show. And uh, there have been so many times when I think, well, of course, a kid in a wheelchair isn't going to be able to do this or that, and he does it. And I could see him going really far on that show. And if people get to know the real Nathan and start to appreciate who he is, I think he'll win their hearts too. So I'm looking for that. And even more, I think he'll be making a difference in people's lives, whatever he does in the future. Um, he doesn't let himself uh, just stop and feel sorry for himself. He moves forward and he'll be encouraging other people to do that. Me and my mom song right together, and um, Unstoppable, my very first song, was inspired by just the fact that people look at you one way and they pass judgments on you, but that's not how it should be. Uh, unstoppable, I like to call the anthem of my life because I am unstoppable and can do anything, no matter who I am, and what it looks like I can do. You know, I've learned a lot from him. I've learned that no matter what um, 
difficulty you're handed in life that you really can overcome anything with uh, determination and uh, confidence in yourself. And he has, he's relied on others. He's relied on his physicians. He's relied on his, on the people that have been his teachers. And he's taken what they have to offer and has truly uh, made it a part of himself. I, I think he's got phenomenal talent. His spirit uh, and his will are going to allow him to do whatever he wants to do. Uh, he continues to overcome the odds. I don't think anybody will ever be able to say to you, you can't do this or you can't do that. He's going to continue to prove them wrong. And with his intelligence and with his heart and his desire and his spirit, he's going to be able to do whatever he wants to do. It's a great honor to me to know that people have, look up to what I have done with what was given to me. And I think, I think about the Triumph Award and I think, man, that's... That, that makes me really feel good, that people have said, Nathan Watt, that's a real inspirational person. And that makes me feel really good. Unfortunately, I'm no longer Nathan's teacher, and it breaks my heart. But when um, his mother spoke to me and told me of this award that he was being honored with, my response was, anything I can do to help Nathan, I'm there. because. He, number one, he's an outstanding young man, and uh, I just I care deeply for him. So anything else he needs, I'm there. But I have a feeling it won't be long before I'll be calling him, saying, Nathan, can you get me tickets to your show? Or, uh, Nathan, can you come teach my kids how to, how to be successful? I don't think there's words to describe how proud I am of him. He's made... Um my life means something. Congratulations, Nathan Watt.